Welcome to another video quick tip brought to you by AppleGazette.com. What we're going to do today is look at some Automator basics. Now Automator is a program that was a part of Tiger that can really help to eliminate some repetitive tasks for us by allowing us to create some mini applications that are very similar to Actions in Photoshop or things like that, but this is for everything that we do on our Macs. Now, here's the way the program's laid out. What we're going to do today is we're going to look at the program, some of the basics of how it works, create a simple workflow, and uh, then you can see how easy it is to use Automator, because at first it can look a, a little intimidating. Now, up here, of course, we have a search box that's going to help us look for the various actions that we're going to need. We have our library down here. Now, this library, what this shows us is all of the applications that have actions that we can work with Automator with. Now, this column is those actions and these actions are what we drag into our workflow work area. Down here in this little box we can see a little more information about what these different actions do. But What we're going to do today, the, the workflow that we're going to create is going to allow us to take the photos that we, that, that we take, scale them down uh, to a much smaller file size for emailing and send them out to the family with just a couple clicks. So the way we're going to start this is we're going to start with Finder because what we're going to want to do is, is find the files before we get the, the, the whole thing started. So we're going to click on Ask for Finder Items. We're going to drag that over into our workflow area. Now since we're going to be selecting more than one file most times, we want to allow for multiple selection. Now what we're going to do with this is we're going to scale these pictures down. So let's go into to our search and just search for scale so that we don't have to look through every single action to find it. We can see scale images right there at the top and we drag that over here and we've added it to the workflow but we get a warning and the warning tells us that the action is going to change the image files as they pass through it and it asks us if we want to add a copy finder items action so that instead of changing the original file, we're duplicating that file and creating a smaller file in another folder. And we definitely want to do that so we can keep our original pictures intact. Now we have three different things here in our workflow. We have Ask for Finder Items, Copy Finder Items, and Scale Images. Now the first thing that we want to do is figure out where we want to store these copied Finder Items. We can store them in any one of our normal areas or we can go in and what I like to do is create a subfolder called email picks. Now that folder is where we can store all of the ones that we're going to send out an email. But we can even create a workflow later that allows us to delete that email picks folder and clean it out so that we don't save those files and take up unnecessary hard drive space after we send them to mom and dad and grandma. But for right now all that we have to worry about is copying finder items we're going to have them go into that email pick subfolder now the third part of this workflow is scale images and that's what this whole thing is about so 480 is the default and I think 480 is going to work for most people so I'm going to leave that alone but you can go in here and you can make it change to by percentage or you can change the the, the pixel size to whatever number you want it to be now after these things scale we want them to go into mail and to create a new mail message for us. So we're going to go over to the library and click mail. And the second action from the top is new mail message. We're going to drag that down and add it into the workflow. Now you'll see that down in the bottom it went ahead and opened mail for us when we did that. And assuming you already have mail set up this will all work together very smoothly. And what we can do here is we could leave this alone and not do anything with it if you're going to send the pictures to different people at different times. If you were sending different pictures to clients or things like that, then you might not want to go and fill this out. But if they're going to mom and dad, then you may just want to go ahead and put their email addresses in to save yourself the time later on. Now you can also use the actions or you can also use your address book, I'm sorry, and uh, go in and select them that way uh, into the to folder. Now, the subject, new family picks. You don't have to fill this out. You can leave it blank if it's something you're going to change a lot, but if you're not going to change it a lot, if that's what you're going to call it every time you send new pictures, then just don't change it. You know, I mean, then, then just don't leave it blank. Fill it out now so that you don't have to mess with it later. Now, we have completed this entire Automator workflow. It's very simple, very quick, and we're done now. What we need to do is test it out and make sure it works. So we're going to click on Run. We're going to go to our pictures. 
our iPhoto library, or our pictures. And I'm going to select these two pictures here from a cold day here in Texas. And you'll see, as, as it does the different tasks, we get a little green dot that lets us know that they're done. And now here we are. Everything is ready to go. We've got the twos, or we know where they're going. We've got our subject. We've got our images right here. We can click send, and they're gone, and we're done. Now, since we've completed it and it works successfully, we need to save the application. So we go to File, go to Save, and then let's save it on the desktop so it's easy to find, and we'll call it Mail Photos. And right here you see this file format workflow. Workflow is what you want to save it when you're saving the actual automator workflow that you've built. But when you're saving the application, you want to click application and then click save. Now that's very simple. We can close automator now. Automator does not have to be open for this. And here we have mail photos on our desktop. Go over to pictures. And we're going to choose a picture. I'll choose this one at the bottom here. Click choose and it's created the entire thing for us. Now we just have to click send and those new pictures are off to mom and dad and grandma and we're totally finished. And now anytime that you go and create, you know, take a whole bunch of new pictures, you can just click on that and it's that simple to go and get this done. Now that's just one of the really simple things you can do with Automator. Uh, there are a lot of Automator websites out there that have workflows that people have built, tutorials on different things that you can do to help you show some more advanced features. And we might look at some advanced features in future installments of the video quick tip. But that's the basics of Automator gives you an idea of how it works and if you want to look at some of those other sites there should be links below the video here so you can take a look at them that's going to be all for this video quick tip I hope you enjoyed it we appreciate your feedback uh, please feel free to leave comments below and we'll see you again soon